I'm having a chat with Jonas of Royal Republic. How are you? All good. How are you doing, Jim? Not too bad. Thanks so much. So we've been playing a new single of yours called Ain't Got Time. Tell us a bit about the single, first of all. Well, it was. it's basically one of those songs that it has been around for quite some time, even though it's called I Ain't Got Time, but it's been around for some time. But it was uh, like, yeah, a lot of the parts felt really good, but we weren't just able to like, you know, the, the final... Uh, missing piece of the puzzle to make it like all right now we got it uh it kind of basically happened in the studio like we had them like all right rough generality this is kind of the, the direction we want to go with it and then um together with michael ilbert we were able to like um, this is how we're going to do the song and uh, we did did really fast i think it was one of those ideas that the uh, pair had it's uh, still one of those of many kind of how Royal Republic writes music. We just find something that we think sounds funny, hooky, catchy, and we're just like, all right, let's spin on that one. Yeah, and nice. uh, yeah, so and uh, it, then it just it turned out we were able to pull through, and uh, it turned out really cool because yeah. it has the perfect perfect twist for the chorus. <laughs> No, I, I totally agree. And your whole album is is sounding nicely upbeat and fun. Let's talk about the album because it is out on June the 7th. Love Cop, what can we expect to hear when we get a chance to take a listen? Oh, what you can expect is uh, a very eclectic band, I would say. We still uh, would like to uh, uh, confuse people with our music. And I think we've got to keep on confusing people with our music. And I think they're going to love us for just that kind of reason. It's basically... Uh, you never know kind of what you're going to get when you get new role public music. So uh, some people might be all right. And some people might be, oh, no. <laughs> but um, the thing is, like, you always, when you want to make new music, we always write music that we can, that we like, that we want to listen to, that we enjoy. Because we're the, uh, the people who are going to play it now for another, I uh, would say, until I die, maybe. <laughs> so uh, I would say uh, people are going to be very happily surprised with the album. I think it, it's um, it, it's uh, oh, it's tricky to describe. It has a lot of nice eighties vibes that we all love in the band, and it has uh, other twists and elements that we all enjoy. It's just like good pleasures if we if we find something. A song that we write and we like it, even though it sounds a bit off, we're totally gonna make it turn into something that people gotta enjoy anyway. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and four records in now. How mm. has the music evolved? How have you evolved since the start back in what two thousand and nine, ten? Now to, to oh, today. Yeah. Oh, I would say uh, we <laughs> we we slowed down a few of the tracks. Everything doesn't have to be two b two hundred bpm <laughs> all the time. Like ah. Oh. Uh, so it's kind of, I would say the songs are a bit more thought through, a bit more um, meat to the bone uh, to uh, and like the way kind of how we write music nowadays is all about maybe put a bit more thought into it, not too lighthearted or it's still like with a glimpse in the eye, with like a kind of little corny twist here and there, but it feels um, like the songs are bigger now uh in a way and um yeah and we are older now unfortunately <laughs> no, no benjamin button here unfortunately no 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 um now when it comes to the writing side of things how do tracks normally start off for you guys <clears throat> i i would say everybody kind of uh, we like go into our own uh, writing camps like uh, the four of us in the band everybody writes music uh, for Royal Republic so everybody sits on their own just gather their ideas and then we have this amazing thing called Dropbox and you just like chuck a, a bunch of ideas in there and um, then we kind of like pick and choose what fits the best we always try to find for every album kind of uh, like a a one song that's going to be like this is the track that everything else is going to lean upon 
like for a weekend man we had um when i see dance with another uh for club majesty was a, f- a fireman and dancer and for this one we kind of found like love cop and my house those are the pillars uh, of the foundation of the album and then we kind of like try to build the rest around um those two tracks so uh out, out of i don't know collect maybe 80 90 ideas and then just now you just need 10 okay here we go and then you do the big puzzle and try to make everything fit yeah and with those extra tracks that you make that don't make it onto the record what happens to those now do you consider them again for next time or do you bin them off and start again uh i would say the the most of them goes to what we call uh the graveyard of hook lines that <laughs> we have this term in the band like oh this is a great hook line this is a great thing but it just ends up in the graveyard never to see the light of day again but sometimes uh, a few track re-emerges like after a while like it feels maybe you're like six or seven songs into like all right that you locked in this is going to be on the album and then you kind of feel um you look kind of like the dynamics of all the songs and it's like maybe we're missing one of these kinds of songs oh but we have this in our graveyard maybe we get our shovels dig it up again and see if we can like make make it into this album cycle and for instance Anka Time was one of those that uh, got um, yeah brought back to life we brought it back from the dead <laughs> Yeah, nice, nice. And people will want to see you playing these tracks live. Yeah. We're now into a summer period of busy festivals. You've got loads yes. of those coming up, haven't you? Oh, yes, we do. It's um, kind of like one of my favorite um, times of the year, like summer festival season, because uh, it's summer, mm-hmm. it's festivals. And so you get to play in front of a lot of people, but you also get to see a lot of cool bands and you get to meet up with friends that you usually just meet up on festivals mm. as well. So it's a, it, it's, a, it's a great mixture of like everything that's great. And it's going to be a quite, I think we have one or two weekends off this summer. So for us, it's like kind of a decent uh, f- summer festival. Oh. It's going to be a, uh, playing the human pinball machine, like bing, 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 all across Europe. No, yeah, indeed. And you've got a tour as well coming up at the end of this year across Europe. I bet you can't wait to yeah. be on the road again. No, no, no. It's been it's been a while. It's, it's not really. <laughs> it was January. You know, February, we ended our tour. <laughs> but it's like, uh, we're, uh, we're kind of like, we prefer being on the road. That's like kind of home from home. Um, and we've always been a, a touring act. That's kind of how we built our brand. It was not it, we never built it through a massive single going like super big. It's all been like um, grassroots. You know, you start to play in front of one, that person tells another one, then you have two, and then you have four, eight, sixteen, and so on. And now we're getting there. So hopefully, if like if we play in front of ten thousand, it should be twenty thousand next time, right? Hopefully. <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed. Um, now, not much booked for over here in the UK. You've got download in a couple of weeks' time, but nothing else in the diary. When else are you hoping to be back over here? Well, basically, uh, we've got a lot of things in our schedule. It's all about... Uh, uh, luckily, it's not up to me. We have a booker, and he's trying to write, all right, this band is ready to go on tour. And who wants to see them play? All right, everybody. Uh, how do I manage? <laughs> and then he has to do all the big mapping. All right, if you start here, and then you go here, and then you go there. So, for instance, like download is one of those crazy travels. Basically, we we play in Czechoslovakia, um, in in Czech Republic. Sorry, my bad. And then we have to go. All right, and now go to UK. It's like hop on the nightliner straight after. The show and like drive all night and all next day so it's uh, i guess uh, more is in the pipeline it just needs to be finalized so it's going to be more be sure more dates to come nice so you hoping to go even further afield over to america asia australia at some point yeah of course if uh, a good opportunity um 
occurs, then we will seize the opportunity, uh, you know, as, um, so let's see, we don't know yet, but it's if someone called from Tokyo, like, Hey, would you mind coming over playing? I, I would not say no for sure. And but and we also we tried we toured the states we did two turns over there it was a lot of fun a lot of it's a big country I realized <laughs> way bigger than Sweden <laughs> uh, and we did Australia once in 2012 which was also a lot of fun but also a really weird it was basically like a festival that started from one city and it traveled across uh, the whole coast of um, uh, Australia so I think you started in brisbane and then you did sydney and then you had to go back to brisbane because you had to uh do a show in between and then you flew down and then you did sydney once again and then you did melbourne and then you did adelaide and then you did perth uh yeah it was one of those i was like completely jet lagged for two weeks because it is like all the flying within australia is also different time zones mm -hmm. and one of the difference was once we one time we landed, I can't remember where. It's like, all right, now you have to set your watch forward 15 minutes. All right, cool. It's just, it's, just, it's, it's, it's also big. <laughs> Australia, way bigger than Sweden. Yeah, indeed. Jonas, it's been a pleasure having a catch up with you. <laughs> Likewise. Thank you so much for taking your time. <laughs>